now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norval with the On Your Side forecast. Hot, we saw the snow flying, but I thought it was supposed to be springtime coming up. Well, if you take a look at this long range chart here, we've got a nice big change coming in. Now the temperatures are going to be dipping. We hit 50, 51 today. I think the official high might be 52 or 53, but we've got colder weather coming in the next day or two and the mornings will be chilly through Friday and maybe even into Saturday. But boy, those afternoon highs are going to skyrocket and we could hit the mid 60s and then plateau in the low to mid 60s for next week. So that's a nice change if you're looking for the milder weather coming in time for the beginning of spring. In the meantime, outside in anything but spring like we're turning over to snow now. Looks like snow there falling in our lens. At uh, Boise from the Red Lion Hotel, 35 degrees, wind northwest of the airport at 21 miles an hour. So we went from a nice 51, 52 degree day to a wind chill of 24 degrees. I told you we'd have a dramatic change from the morning to the afternoon and evening. And so the snow is coming down. It won't last too long, but it'll tend to break on up and we'll see dry weather coming in. But the wind and cold is going to stick around through tomorrow. Here are the blues. This is a cabbage hill over the blues. They call it Dead Man Pass. I saw cars going here fine. It may not be a snow covered road, but there's been some snow flying in north East Oregon, they should be fine. A couple of snow stakes to show you Bogus Basin very quickly. Boom, an inch and a half of snow just like that. That's the latest shot as of 515. Here's what Brundage Mountain looked like. We had nothing and then all of a sudden there it was just under two inches. They cleared the snow stake here and we'll look at the latest little bit, almost a quarter inch. So I guess we could add that and say about two inches of snow and it seems to be coming down. So could there be another inch or two? It's not out of the question. I mentioned yesterday about three inches in the ski resorts. We'll have to see how it pans on out. Doppler radar showing though the drier weather is already beginning to work its way on in and there's your snow falling that this algorithm that shows the blue being snow and the greens and yellows being where we have precipitation in the form of rain radar trying to determine by the temperatures out there what type of precipitation is falling but generally it's missing it a little bit because this is all light snow that's falling uh, in this region right now but you see it drying out from the uh, northwest to southeast this is the wind velocity and this is where the wind is really kicking in you can even draw a line right in here and that's the cold front pretty much the cold front it might be a little bit further behind and it's tracking the wind here north uh, from northwest to southeast and you look at some of these wind speeds here, 31 miles an hour, 39 miles an hour. This is just above the ground, so this is not necessarily being realized at the surface, but we are getting some pretty strong wind gusts here. You see 40s, and that's probably what we will see during the afternoon tomorrow as well, up to 40 mile an hour wind gusts as all that moisture continues as, as wind uh, begins to come in behind this cold front that's now pushing through the Treasure Valley. So you've got snow flying east of Boise. We're going to be letting the precipitation up as we get closer to 6 o'clock here in the Boise area, but it will be pushing towards the Magic Valley. You're just about to see precipitation in the Magic Valley. So get ready as that cold front pushes on through. Windy behind this cold front. That's why a wind advisory in effect tomorrow afternoon. Here's the colder weather coming in behind it. Not a lot of moisture, just with the frontal band. So during the day tomorrow, the sun will come out a lot of it, but a wind advisory till 6 o'clock, 25 to 35 mile per hour winds with gust of 45 east of Boise towards Mountain Home. As this front pushes on through tonight, there's the precipitation going through the Magic Valley. Here's the wind setting up for tomorrow, but you'll notice how the valley keeps lots of sunshine. That deep blue sky is going to return again during the day with puffy clouds hanging over the mountains and maybe another inch or two of snow in the ski areas that could bring our totals around three inches, maybe, maybe a little more, but I think much of the snow in the, in the ski areas may start to taper off here shortly. My exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. We may hit 50 in Ontario, but it will be cold and windy in Boise at 45 blue skies. It'll look beautiful outside, but you'll step out there and notice that wind, especially in mid morning when the temperature hasn't climbed yet, but the wind is starting to crank up in the mountains, mostly sunny, but some snow flurries will continue. We do have that little bit more snow tonight, two to three inches of snow in the Stanley Sun Valley area tonight and then partly cloudy tomorrow and then a windy day in the Magic Valley tomorrow with a high temperature of 40 degrees. This is my extended forecast and look at those temperatures Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Look at Monday and Tuesday oh, yeah. take some time off. Maybe bring, temperatures in the 60s. On those 60s. Wow, it's a change. So cold here for a little yeah. while, but we can handle it because we know what's coming. Yes, that's a good way of looking at yeah. it. Yes, look beyond. Look beyond <laughs> the next day. All right. Thanks, Scott.